Hi, friends. I hope everyone's doing super dandy today. I'm so excited to be here today. I also brought some friends with me today. I brought my summer tires because I just felt like taking them for a ride today. I was like, hey, you want to go to Value Village? And they said yes. We're here at Value Village and because I got my summer tires off, I thought, you know, we're finally in Christmas spirit, winter spirit, holiday spirit. So we're going to start my Christmas shopping and also shop for me. <laughs> when am I going thrifting and not, you know, shopping for me? Like, I'm always going to, you know, the back of my mind going to be shopping for me, but I'm also going to be shopping and starting my holiday shopping today. Don't know how successful I'm going to success successful i'm gonna be today because um a lot of people in my life are very picky and they do not thrift and they um yes they're just very particular with their things so um this is gonna be more of a long-term goal for the next month or so thrifting some gifts for my friends and family because they're picky i'm hoping i get like one gift today and then you know the rest for me like that's a good goal let's head in Let's go thrifting. Let's see what this Value Village has to offer for me today. Oh, but before we go in, we do have a sponsor for today's video and it is Poshmark. Cue Smart Jenna at home to tell you guys all about Poshmark. Most of you guys have probably heard of Poshmark. They have been a sponsor of my channel before and I know a lot of you already use them. But if you don't know what Poshmark is, let me explain. So Poshmark is an app you guys can download on your guys' phones and you guys can shop secondhand in lifestyle, clothing, beauty, home decor, men's, like really everything you can get on there. If you guys have some extra clothes or home decor or really anything, you guys can list them in your own closet on Poshmark and make in a little bit extra, extra cash. Shopping secondhand is super sustainable and it's actually one of my goals this year to actually gift more secondhand than new. Poshmark is available in Canada, US, and Australia. Australia. I'm sorry, people that live in Australia. And it's super easy just to make an account and start selling right from home. To list an item on Poshmark, it's really straightforward. All you have to do is take a photo, put a description, tell me how much you want it, or not me, you know, list how much you want it for, and then share the item. Shipping is super easy because they handle it all for you. They give you a pre-made label so you don't have to weigh it or, you know, do all that complicated stuff. It's, it's, it's done for you. I personally have a Poshmark closet and I've also listed some items for you guys down below in the description. And if you guys don't have an account already, you guys can get $15 off your first purchase. Also, in today's thrift with me, I'm also going to be mentioning some items that are typically harder to find in the thrift store, but super easy to find on Poshmark while I'm thrifting today. That's all I had to say, so thank you so much to Poshmark for sponsoring today's video, and now we can get back to the thrifting, or to the thrifting, because technically we haven't started it yet. So I'm in the dresses. I I don't really know why, but look at this dress. <laughs> There's someone left here. Let's go for the most popular section first. The sweater section. Can't go wrong with a sweater. Like that's just like a good gift. And also like a good gift for myself too, just in case, you know, I find one that I like and uh, I know no one else will like. Oh my goodness. Look at this sweater. It's from Zara and <laughs> Doesn't this just look like a teddy bear? Like if I wore this, I'd just be a teddy bear. I think we at least got to try, try it on, put it in my cart. Here's a vintage sweater. It's a wool one, so definitely super, super itchy. $14.99. What, what, what is this? Is this supposed to be like a, a butterfly? Is that a butterfly? Then like a flower and then a tree and then another flower. Cause I, I kind of really like it. We'll, you know, we'll just try that on, that on for myself too. Why do I kind of like this? It's because it's green, right? Because I tend to like everything that is green, even if it's like super, super ugly. Guys, guys, look at this. Look at this. Look at this another knit sweater. It's so soft. It's from Zara, but it's $17. I like this top too. I just, lately I just been loving soft, fuzzy things. Although this one looks like it would fit a small child, so 
<laughs> we'll just keep going. This jacket kind of reminds me of the quilt jacket I've been looking for, except it's not a quilt. It's just kind of like, you know, that, that granny vibe. $17.99. That's decent. You, you guys know I was just in the jacket section. Well, I found two jackets I like. This one right here, but she's a little oversized, so I'm not really sure about her. And then I also found this one, which this one's a wacky one. She's a little different. I found a lot of sweaters and I'm very unsure about all them, so I wanna play a little game with you guys. It's called Ugly, Jenna, or Cute. And what that means is you guys just decide in your head when I show you guys each sweater and you decide if it's ugly, like not your style, Jenna, it's like between ugly but kind of cute or cute where you're like, oh, that, that's a cute one. So just mentally put it in your head when I show you each sweater. First one, I don't know which, where it falls on the scale. Number two. Something's gravitating me towards it, and I don't know what it is. Number three. Next one. It's a hoodie. This one has a hood on it. It's like a hoodie sweater. Last one. I'm going with cute on this one just because it's so simple. Okay, thank you for playing my game with me. Oh my goodness this sweater vest is so cute and she's $20 why is she $20 so I'm in the men's section right now because I thought maybe I should take a break for shopping for myself and um, try to find something for my husband so my husband he is very particular about what he wears he tends to only wear a few colors and things that are lemon. <laughs> so I would love to get him something lemon because that's what he just wears like every single day because he just loves it. But it's so hard to thrift. So it might be something I don't find at my local thrift store. It might be something I thrift online, like on Poshmark. There are so many Levi's here in the men's section today. Do you guys see all of those Levi's? Even have a green pair. Look at these, these are so pretty. So my husband is more into like the athleisure look, more like nice sweatpants, I guess you can call it. So I'm checking out the sweats here and I ended up finding one pair of the limb pants right off the bat. They're not his size, so I'm gonna pass, but I guess there's potential here that I could find him a pair of lululemon plants here. Plants, pants, pants, yeah, pants here. Next person is um, my sister and she's just as picky as Tim which is unfortunate. She likes to wear just like a handful of brands too where she really loves like the TNA sweaters, hoodies, you know, the mask jeans, sweatsuits, and then she also really loves like lemon. So <laughs> I'm gonna check out the hoodies first and see if there's any like TNA Aritzia sweaters because I see them all the time here and I've gotten them for her in the past so maybe I can get her a sweatsuit, maybe. That's kind of being optimistic. Or maybe lemon pants or lemon something. That'd be awesome. Otherwise, Poshmark is my backup because there's like tons of brand new stuff on there. And if I told her I thrifted brand new Lululemon, that might actually convince her to start thrifting, which would be really cool. Okay, let's go look for her now. So I pretty much looked through all of it. And the only one TNA sweater I found was this one. And um, I don't know, she's a huge fan of tie-dye. She's just very particular especially with the colors and just things so even though it's TNA I, I don't think it's her cup of tea. I just found the most perfect pair of lemon pants right here but they're too big. They're like brand new too. So I did find one thing that could work for my sister. I'm not sure she's gonna love it. It is a TNA sweat pant almost but you know it's a skirt so this is very similar to what she loves but I'm not sure if she loves skirts. I love it and I would wear it but I'm not sure about her. Forgot about the yarn section. My favorite section. Ooh, they have some knitting needles that are pretty here and they're big. Mm, I don't need any more straight needle needles, knitting need needles. Oh, I can't talk. Also another place to get yarn secondhand. Mark. 
My sister and her boyfriend just got a place and I feel like this would be a really good housewarming gift and holiday gift all at the same time. This skirt is really cute, but I feel like it'd be too short for me. I find it so hard to find nice shirts at the thrift store. Like I always just find sweaters, like I found that sweater. Not sure that I'm gonna get it, but shirts. It's like a whole different ball game, I feel like. Back to the thrifting here. And I'm in the sweater section. No, wait, this is cardigan. Is this cardigan sweater? Cardigan section, possibly. I don't know. Ooh, fake Chanel. Here, haven't found anything. Always looking though. This reminds me of Toys R Us. No, I meant um, Toy Story. Toy Story, not Toys R Us. Woody and uh, I guess I just gotta stop. So we all know that I had been looking for everybody on three. One, two, three. I meant to go on three, but right. Okay, we'll try this again. One, two, quilt jacket. Yes, we know, or maybe we all don't know. I've said it a few times that I'm looking for a quilt jacket or a really nice quilt to make a quilt jacket, but unfortunately, looked again today. No luck, no luck. Looked again in the quilts. No luck, no luck again today. It's my thrift bucket list. It's like the dream lamp all over again. This is the dream jacket, and I want to find it. It'd be really cool if I do find it, but I've also been browsing the web, re web, the web, the web the internet, the www dot. Looking at some and I found one and I really, really like it, but it's a thousand dollars. I don't know where I'm going with the story. I just wanted to, I don't know, chat. Okay, we're gonna do this very, very speedy, the haul, or not, not very speedy, but you know, we're gonna pick up the pace a little bit in this haul because there's a decent amount of stuff to get through and um, kind of a short amount of time because I'm, I'm hungry. Okay. I got myself a vest today, and I've been looking for a vest. We're not really looking for a vest, I've been wanting the vest for a while, and I didn't even look in the vest section until I was leaving the store, and this one just popped out to me. This amazing blue and white striped puffy vest. It's a puffer vest. And I gotta say, this is like the most beautiful and comfy vest I've ever felt in my life. Like it's very similar, I wanna say, to the Ritzia Super Puff vest. My sister has one, exact same, like identical. And this one's actually from, originally, Helly Hansen. And I got it for $15. Next item. This, you guys saw me, it's missing a sleep, one sec. This sweater, you guys saw in the store. And I decided to get it because I tried it on in the store and it is just so soft. It just makes me feel like a teddy bear. And that's really what I wanna feel like this winter is just a teddy bear. So, <laughs> should I try it on over top? Just look at this thing. Isn't this just the best sweater in the, the whole world? Like it fits me perfect. It's fuzzy like teddy bear and this one was $15. It's the same price as the vest. One more sweater. Yeah, just one more sweater. I got two sweaters. This is the other one and it's actually a Zara one. Yeah, it's another Zara one. Maybe someone donated both their Zara sweaters or not. It could be two different people that donated it, but I found this Zara one. This one's very, very basic. Like this one's not typically a Jenna one, but I I just really like this one. This one just felt really soft. And you know when you just see something soft at the thrift store and it just looks comfy, you just gotta get it. There's, you, you can't just leave it. So I got this one. It's very basic. Yeah, it's very basic, especially with jeans. Like I feel like a 80s dad wearing this with the jeans I'm wearing because dad jeans, but I'm digging that look. Now for some bottoms. Okay, first is another, <laughs> I'm so excited for this one. This is another, what do we call these skirts again? Plaid, kilts? I got another skirt that I like, and this one was $11.99. This one's a little bit of a shorter one. The ones I've been getting lately have been more like mid, 
Yeah, I like these together. And then some high boots. I don't have them on right now, but that's what I'm thinking for how I'd style these. And she fits perfect. Like, she could not have fit any better this skirt. And she's like brand new too. And she was $11.99. She's like, the cheapest thing I got today so far. Next, we got a pair of pants. We found a pair of pants. And for some reason, they had like 500 pairs of these pants in different colors. Like I could have opened up a store, they had so many pairs of pants. So either a store closed down or someone thought they were gonna wear these pants more than they did. And they didn't. But this item is actually officially my cheapest item of the haul. 750. These pants actually fit perfect. <laughs> like they fit perfect everywhere. And they're stretchy, so they're like actually comfy. So they're like kind of like a pair of jeans, kind of like jeggings, in between, but not like jeggings, like you know, jeggings aren't. Like they even look really good in the butt. It'd be nicer if there was a tad longer, like a couple inches, but I'll live. Last item of the haul, and I'm going to say I'm successful with my goal of trying to get one thing not for me because I got the skirt that was TNA that possibly could be for my sister, but possibly could not. It depends if she likes it or not. She can have it if she likes. I spent $19. I should have looked at the price tags. I didn't look at any of the price tags today. The skirt was $19. Well, let's try her on. See if she's worth splashed you guys. See if she's worth my $19. Okay, I'm okay. I must have a face flood there. Like I legit just fell in my underwear. Well, here's my $1,900, $19, not $1,900, my $19 skirt right here. And unfortunately she, she fits perfect and yeah. She's worth it, she's worth it. There's a little long, which I personally like. I personally like the length of it. <laughs> I don't know if my sister will, so hopefully she doesn't, because then I can keep it. It's comfy, like, I like it. It's a sweatpants, but it's a skirt. It's like such a good compromise. And this one would be perfect. Watch this. Watch this. Like this. High boots, skirt, vest, perfect fall outfit. Well, that's it. That's it for today's video. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm really hungry, so. I hope you guys have a groovy day. You guys should shop, should sh shop. Poshmark down below in the description, down there. And that's it, I had to say. I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.